I work with organizational leaders when they're driving important change in initiatives. Now I'm sure all of you have been around initiatives or change and you recognize that if change is a part of the mix, there's some wonky behavior that goes that happens. Working with organizations driving change, I've learned without the right mindset, it's nearly impossible to get the needed momentum. She was focused intensely on what she didn't want. And I've worked with hundreds of clients and I'm here to tell you that it's getting in the way of positive relationships. She is spot on when she says we are in a time of change. How do we look at change? Not to be afraid of what's being asked of them to do things differently. It gives me some food for thought to how can I partner with others to help create change. Create more of a positive spin on things and trying to draw people into the positive side. And dealing with that change is something you have to pay attention to, not ignore. Everyone is saying that we need to change, but no one is saying how to do it. And that's why we developed a very comprehensive methodology to help organizations develop a collective mindset for innovation and change. He'd spent a lot of time focusing on what he didn't want to have happen. He was very clear about that and he opened every interaction with that. You know, we don't want to miss that timeline. You know, we don't want to look like we're uncooperative with this other team. And he didn't recognize how this small thing was impacting the energy of his people and their willingness to go above and beyond. He made this small shift. He started every interaction with, what do you want to accomplish with this? Where are you at right now? And what are the steps you need to take to move things along? I call it a mindset for change. Say you buy a red car, you drive it off the lot, what do you notice? You notice red cars because that's where you're focused. And we always say you get more of whatever it is that you focus on. And what we really teach is how to develop the discipline of focusing on the outcomes that you do want. So be intentional about what you want in each and every interaction. It doesn't take like a a big planning and intention. What do I want in this relationship? And if things got off, get off track, you can tap back to that and let them know what I want is for us to work together collaboratively and well. I think you have to start listening to what Laura has to say about focusing on what you want instead of what you don't want. If the mindset isn't there, I think then the behavior change doesn't happen and there's not really long-term effects. My hope for you is that seeing red cars serves as a guide, as a message to guide you through your conversations and in those meetings that you have day in and day out so that you can create more of what you want in all of your interactions. I'd like to thank you so much for your time and wish you the great the rest of the day. She is very warm and engaging with her audience. She made a great impact on the audience. She had stories that I think a lot of people could relate to. Engaging, energetic. Her style is very good. She's very easy to listen to. A lot of what she said, you could think of specific situations in your business. Uh, relevant in anyone's life and anything they're doing in any industry they're in. I think every organization just struggles with change. She's got statistics to back up her information and she's got examples.